I watched a fly on the porch today, all wings and thick black hair. He wandered in the autumn sunshine, sucking liquid into spongy mouth. I wondered if he felt content, warm, filled, and alive. People find some animals unrelatable, their existence too distant, too foreign. Experiments have shown that flies exposed to repetitive stimuli behave as if they are frightened, and their internal state is similar to fear in humans. Other studies show that insects have a subjective experience of pain. Do these flies feel and remember, spinning objects in silent desperation? We have come to see other beings as forms, molding and shaping their existence. Now that he's on the table, simply plug in the connector gently. A brief surgery alters the cockroach's nervous system. One end of the electrode is poked into the thorax, the other into the hollow center of the cut antenna. Once assembled, the cockroach's nervous system is controlled with the use of a smartphone app. Now place the cockroach on the floor, and when he starts running, start stimulating the left and right sides and see what you observe. You're done with your experiment, it's time for the cockroach to go back into his house to eat and rest. Put him in the refrigerator to slow him down a bit, then with your forceps, carefully ease the connector from the stimulator package. Unplug, is she incomplete? Faded into nothingness? What happens when we meet unexpectedly on a stroll through the garden? Or I find you in the hallway, little body bumping into window pane? Your suffering looks like mine. Your pain is recognizable. So why are you cast out, unloved even by God, driven into the storm? We tell stories of undesirable animals, their cruelty and trickery, but these tales are often fiction. It's easier to see the ugliness in other creatures than in ourselves. But new life is rarely out of harm's way. These young spiders have spent the first few weeks of their life cushioned against the elements and safe from predators. Very soon now, they'll be taking their chance with both. I imagine what it might look like if spiders use social media.
dancing tomatoes in the mud, tapping their toes in the rain, dance heavy howling, let's fill up to the moon, selling spirits on a little too soon, just a little too soon. In 2020, the world's first genetically engineered moth, the Diamondback, was released into an open field. Like gods, we cast them out to the garden, go forth and multiply. There is no going home now, our existence haunted by change. We are in the calm before the storm, a false sense of peace. And in the stillness the water laps the shore and the insects sing. But there is a distant rumble in the depth of the heart, a gray calling, a gentle buzz, the inevitable hum of change. <laughs>